George Papadopoulos, former Trump campaign aide, has actually been sentenced. He has gotten 14 days in jail. It's not very long. Oh actually. my God, ladies and gentlemen, um, we got him. Sort Down of. goes Papadopoulos. An entire fortnight, John? <laughs> yeah. Is that he's got he's no got he, he's getting 1.4 Scaramucci's in jail, basically. <laughs> um, so also one year of supervised release and yada yada yada, some other stuff or whatever. Um, but just 14 days for lying to the FBI about uh, his involvement with you know Russians, conversations, Trump campaign, blah blah blah. Okay, uh, that it seems fairly anticlimactic. <sighs> and I'll tell you, especially because uh, first uh, they gave evidence about Trump presumably in the campaign, and so uh, they got a plea deal uh, and, and he uh, pleaded guilty. So it was like, whoa, Papa Dom was, oh my God, what did he give? Okay, then later they seemed to panic, and his girlfriend came out and she's like, oh, Mr. Trump, whatever you do, and a pardon would be great, and hey, please, please. Uh, we, And so this is what they wanted a pardon for, for 14 days? So maybe I, they took it down from 12 years to 14 days. Like Sanders the investigation suited. lasted longer. What we were talking <laughs> yeah. about it, the yeah, rapper Lil Kim got more time in jail for lying. To the someone who, right, I think it was like during a deposition or something, but he lied to the feds. That should be a scary thing, lying to the feds. It should be in for I don't know if that makes it that scary. Also, the feds, you know, they like to dole out punishment. This is Interesting. I really yeah. don't know what to do with this information. Right? That it's yeah. two weeks and two weeks for all of this. Now he was the first one. Maybe they're just getting warmed up. I don't know. But like two weeks, it doesn't feel like I got anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. So look, important context, and then we'll have a little bit of fun with guessing things that probably aren't true. Uh, so the context is that the reason he's getting 14 days is because he did cooperate right. with prosecutors. So obviously they got some sort of information that they found to be useful, otherwise the sentence would not have been that light. So I think that's the most important takeaway. Now the fun, okay, so if uh, in the beginning they give him a deal, uh, but they haven't done the sentencing, then he panics and he's like, yeah, please pardon me, pardon me, Donald Trump, and they had spoken out against Trump. Before that, so changing their minds and asking for the pardon was an indication that they were going to get a big sentence. And at the and and, she, and the girlfriend is the the fiance is going on TV all over the place saying the prosecutors basically implying that they lied to them. So then it seemed like there was going to be a big scary moment where they were going to he was going to get a decade or something. And then at the end he gets 14 days. So did something happen between their panic and the 14 days where they gave more information? Mm -hmm. Well, one mm. quote that I saw, mm -hmm. and again, we, we didn't even have formal write-ups of this really, was uh, he said that he couldn't guarantee that he hadn't said to Trump or the campaign during the campaign uh, anything about the dirt that the Russians had acquired. I don't know if he said it to the Mueller investigators or the prosecutors or anything like that, but he couldn't confirm coming out of this sentencing whether he had told them about it. Again, I don't know what to do with that information. I'm just telling you what happened today. And this is the reality of life. You know, I see so many court dramas where people are giving or cooperating with the police and the authorities, and then it ends up leading to some kind of amazing dramatic moment. But this is not the bang, but the whimper. Mm -hmm. That's just like 14 days, and maybe we'll find out later. But it is good to see that like there was something that happened, and without him, it wouldn't. You know, he was the one that started all these. You know, as NPR writes, dominoes falling. Um, but it's, I guess, it just keeps going. There's something that happened out of it, and we just need to keep paying attention as it proceeds. So, if you don't remember, last piece of context here is that it, Papadopoulos went and talked to some uh, to an uh, Australian diplomat. The Australian then went and told the U.S. government, "Hey, this guy who's working on the Trump campaign." Uh, has connections to the Russians that he's been telling me about. You guys should go investigate. The FBI then goes, "Oh, that's disconcerting. You're the presidential campaigns should not be talking to foreign governments, no matter who they are." That starts the dominoes. But and then the Trump team calls him a coffee boy, and he's not a big deal. So uh, there is dispute that we still don't know the the answer to, obviously, and that's why we're partly speculating here as to how much he did know and how much he gave. To Mueller's team, he clearly knew that there was a connection to the Russians, and they found it valuable enough to give him a deal and give him a very, very light sentence. If it was just, hey, the Russians are interested in giving us information, I don't think he gets 14 days. But if he does have something about how he told Trump the Russians have incriminating evidence about you, 
Well, that would make it far more interesting. Mm -hmm. And perhaps that's why we have the lighter sentence. But for today, all we know is he did cooperate and he got 14 day sentence. Yeah. The other thing we know is that when on his alias, on his indictment, uh, his alias is Coffee Boy. <laughs> that's his official alias now. I hear, no, no, his alias is Kofefe. Kofefe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's, that's what, what it was referring oh. to. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.